we had an issue this morning. It was about 7 a.m. and uh, I sat down to wash this, feed Dobby her breakfast, which was delicious tuna, so celebrated Friday, TGIF. It's Friday, Friday, gotta get down on Friday. And Dobby knocked it over. It wasn't her fault. It was mine. I shouldn't have put it where I put it. But she knocked it over and it spilled all over the floor. I'm serious about this stuff. And all over some sheets and I basically spent the last 20 minutes cleaning it up and now the whole room smells like tuna. Thanks for that addition, Dobby. She's so cute. Scooch over. We're doing this. Let's be good. Hi, it alls. Welcome back. And if you're new, hello, my name is Jesse, and today we are going to react to season two, episode two of High School Musical, the musical of the series, Typecasting. The last one ended with a pretty big bang. Nini just blurts out that she's moving. I think that Ricky's going to be accepting and understanding of this. However, the way she told him is a... It's a little questionable, a little questionable. So I'm curious to see how that happens. And I just want to jump in. But before we do, don't forget to throw a like up or a dislike if you do or do not like what you see. But comment down below and let me know why. Subscribe if you have not yet. We do fun things here. Ring a ling a ling the bell to be notified when I upload new videos. And don't forget to check the link down in the description for my Patreon. It is $5 a month. That's $1.25 a week. It is all of my unedited reactions of everything that I do on YouTube and addition to more. So if you can't wait for the weekly YouTube drops, go check out my Patreon. It's posted immediately after I watch the episode, but without further ado, this is Season 2, Episode 2 of High School Musical, the musical, the series, Typecasting. Someone brought up a good point in the comments of someone else's, of someone else's uh, video, and it was, why was Carlos so upset when he distinctly declares in the first episode that he is not a fan of the second or third high school musical? Like, he, I think that something along the lines of that he only watched the first ten minutes, so why does he care that they're not doing it? But I still love the scene of him fainting. Slide them into my DMs. <laughs> He's trying. I am Hundo P. Gucci. <laughs> Poor thing. We'll be Gucci. Don't worry about looking good on camera because you're going to look great on college applications. <laughs> good one, Mazzy. Last semester show was fire. Oh, that choice of words. And that's the news, folks. You heard it here first. <laughs> Attention, thespians. I have a brief announcement. Thespians. <laughs> the men keys is step one to me becoming the first ever winner of a MIGOT. MIGOT? Mankey Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, Tony. I've decided that I will be auditioning to be on stage this year. Big Red's trying out too. Mm. Big Red. Oh, there he is. I'm so scared. <laughs> oh, just Aww. remember, you cannot play chip the teacup since it'd obviously be weird for you to be my son. Pretty much in the bag. It's called Disney bounding. Yeah, I dabble. <laughs> You're welcome. Huh? Because he's not trying out. I, I've decided to take myself out of the running for the beast. I'll probably oh, pick a meal plan for Duke. Wait, you officially got in? Back up. You're not doing the musical. He's either? not getting into Duke, no, is he? Not sure if I'm auditioning this year. You know, once a skate rat, right? Centering Troy, hey, are we? <laughs> Honestly, can you blame her? I mean, the last time she told me she was going away, I said I wanted to take a pause. I'm maturing. We are going to make this long distance thing look easy. Mm. <sighs> okay. Mm. To have that happen, too, immediately after mm. everything they had just dealt with. It was, uh, it was half off at Home Goods. It's perfect. Why would you just be like, I thought it was pretty, I got it for you. I, I can't believe I'm standing in front of both oh. Troy Boltons right now. Both their performances So she is from incredible. their school. Thank Thanks. you. That means a lot to us. It honestly takes a village to get a show up on its feet. I've been very blessed. <laughs> no, no, I mean, thank you. It's intimidating being basically, like, brand new to theater. No, I'm oh, trusted. <laughs> is she, like, incognito? I thought she was from the other school. Okay, what is Should that? song? A duet, but for three people. <laughs> Nobody knows that. A this is a really solid composition. Mm, I'm gonna start calling you Terse. It's, Jen, it's and Courtney's she's all about awesome it, so outfit thinking... from the trailer. <laughs> We could audition as a girl group. Ooh. Spice Girls, my mom has been showing me their music videos. <laughs> I'm a thousand percent down for this. Oh my god, that made me feel so old. I'm gonna stick with auditioning on my own. 
Oh. I've been rehearsing my piece all week. No, you, you don't have to explain. I get wanting to do it alone, but at the same time, Miss Jen knows how you guys all excel I in your certain back. areas, so I don't I'm think the song the word auditioning would really matter that much. She should just do the it. You like Ashlyn, right? Understatement of the year. Yeah. Okay. So you really like her. You know what actually make me feel a lot better? Knowing you were going to Ice cream. Too. Oh. Are you sure you don't want to audition? I it would be a good distraction, Ricky. You should. Zach Roy is posing next to a cardboard trophy with the caption, it's only a matter of time. <laughs> How is his hairline closer to his forehead than when we were dating? Did I just hurt it? Unheard it. Unheard it. Uh, at least we have more followers than them. You want to just sit Nothing there and is. cry about how she's not there Ooh. all the time, Ricky? Okay. You're not exactly the type of person who finishes what he starts. You don't complete <laughs> assignments. You walk off stage in the middle of performances. Can't exactly be news to you that people think of you as unreliable. Right? I wonder if Mr. Majara did that on purpose to push him. I'll be playing a role this year. You guys want me to be choreographer or Carlos? <laughs> Close. Co-choreographer. Oh, everyone suddenly want to do co-stuff with me. I'm trying to make my mark, not co-make my co-mark. It's weird that they wouldn't ask her to that. just be choreographer. She's freaking amazing. Seven and I aren't really sharers. Am I supposed to feel like I'm about to throw up? Court star. Court a. A rock star. Why I made. Yes. That's cute. <laughs> Bestie of <laughs> the year the right there. Yeah, but you guys you are so cute. Hey, Courtney, it would Ms. be Jenny. awesome if Courtney got Belle. For a moment of silent reflection. Certain as the sun. <laughs> silent reflection. In the beauty. beauty oh. Is this Mamma Mia too? Cause here we go again. <laughs> it's a quiet village. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Little town full of little people. See, that's perfect. Waking I think Courtney should be Belle. Bonjour. 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 There goes the baker with, with his tray, tray like always. always. To the small provincial, provincial town. town. Good morning, Belle. Good morning, Bonjour. Monsieur. Good day. How is your family? More than this provincial life. Look, there she goes, the girl is so peculiar. Stuck, stuck in a, a book. book. What a puzzle. And we're getting new characters. We're seeing all the like the background people. Charming. I thought she was gonna go to Big Red. But she won't discover that it's him it's till chapter three. Here in town, there's only she who is beautiful as me. So I'm making plans <laughs> to and Mary Bell. Oh, yes, I so. want it. Uh oh. And for once it might be grand to have someone understand. Oh my gosh, I love this. Yay! Why is there not a single item with rabbit in it? I simply adore rabbit. <laughs> Indeed. At times it feels tis the only thing one knows about me. Dean Patel says I'm more the character archetype, you know, rather than a traditional lead. Hmm. What? No, just, does that ever make you feel like you're being put in a box? I can't relate to any of these characters. Hmm. What if we did something to make it more relatable? What are you thinking? Go oh, changing things and the teacher's gonna get upset. She's trying to make it her own. You sounded good during one lapse. Oh, I meant I had never done local theater before. <laughs> you know, with them. Um this kind of crowd. What are you trying to say? My friends are incredibly talented. Go, Gina. Oh, um, I'm sorry, I... You're a fiery little one, aren't you? Blunder and grind it to pieces with the lid uh, wait, wait, stop, stop, stop. What, what's going on here? I'm so sorry. This is my fault. I, I should have known better. Oh, no, it's my idea. Care to enlighten, Nina? At Yak, there's no such thing as a warm-up or an exercise. Every moment is an audition, because every moment counts. How about we practice our vocal rest for the remainder of the day? Uh-oh. Yo. Nerd alert, the power of friendship. <laughs> Amateurs. 
This girl is sassy. Wait. Ugh. Brilliant. Hmm. Get in line, Tercet. Tercet. Get in line, Tercet. Picture all of us in sequined jumpsuits. <laughs> in sequined jumpsuits. <laughs> in an abandoned warehouse. Very Spice Girls meets Drag Race. <laughs> exactly what I was going for when I wrote it. Oh, if you think we're done, we're not even close. There is a part two. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell. Check out my Patreon if you want the full and edited reaction of this. But come back for part two. So long, everyone. Try to make someone smile today. You never know when you might need it next. Bye.